Hello everyone, today we're going to be looking at how to submit an assignment with a large file size to eLearn using Google Drive. So eLearn has a file size upload limit and if a lot of files with large sizes are uploaded to eLearn, the server can be overwhelmed and eLearn can crash. So we are recommending that students only submit files that have text only directly to Moodle. If your files contain images, audio, or video, then you would want to use a file sharing service where you upload the file to that file sharing service and then you share the link on eLearn. Now, there, there are several ways in which you can do that. You can use Dropbox, or you can use your personal Google Drive. But in this video, we're going to be using your USC Google Drive. And the benefits of using your USC Google Drive is that it has unlimited storage. So you can dedicate your USC Google Drive for your academics and share files from there. So the first thing you want to do is sign into your Google account, your USC Google account. Now, if you're already signed into your USC email, well, then you're already there. Um, so, but if let's assume that you haven't done so as yet, so then you would open your Google Chrome web browser. You would just type in Google Chrome. I'm sorry, you type in Google.com in your web browser. You click enter, and then you will come to this page. Then you will click sign in. I shall ask you for your email. Um, so you're going to type in your student USC email there. In this example, I am the student Stanley and my USC student email is stan at stu.usc.edu.tt. So your USC email will always end with at stu.usc.edu.tt. So only that email will work in terms of accessing your USC Google Drive. So we click next. Um, you just type in your password. All right, so now I'm in my USC email, but for today I want to access my Google Drive. So I'm going to click this grid of dots here that will give me access to my Google Apps. So I can click there. And then you see those are the different apps you have access to. Um, so today we're looking at the Google Drive. So I go to my Google Drive. Now, if this is the first time you are accessing your USC Google Drive, it's going to give you these messages. So as I said before, you have unlimited storage for your documents, videos, and everything else. And then you can use this arrow to, to, scroll, to scroll through all the different things that they give you. They even have a, a video on how to use the Google Drive. So you can look at that as well. And then you can click out. All right, so now you are in your Google Drive. So you could create a folder by just clicking the new button and you can click um, folder. And in this case, I'm just gonna put assignments. All right, click create. So now I have an assignments folder. So I can open that folder and then what what I should have told you before is that you should have your assignment. You finish your assignment. It's there on your desktop. All right. So um, in my example here, let me just minimize this screen. I already have my assignment on my desktop. So I just drag and drop it into my assignment folder on Google Drive. OK, so we know that the file has been uploaded because we get that confirmation box at the bottom right there where it says one upload complete and you see the green tick. So now we just have to right click on the file. We click uh, share. All right, then we click this drop down menu here, drop down arrow to get some other options. We click more and then we Make sure that this option is selected, anyone with a link. So anyone who has a link can access. And then under access, you click the drop down menu and you ensure that it says can edit. And then you click save. 
and then you want to copy the links you click copy link and then you click done so now the link is saved on your clipboard I can then open a word document and in this case um, it's already pre-filled so I have my name Stanley the name of the course instructional design 101 the date and then the name of the assignment how to share a file from Google Drive and then I just have a quick little message dear Mr. Matthew which is the teacher for this course please use the link below to access my assignment and all I do now is that remember I copied the link previously so I just um, command V or control V command V if you have a Mac control V if you have a Windows computer and you paste the link right there into the document all right and you could just click enter or return if you have a Mac and so the link is is active and then you want to save your document so you easiest thing to do is save it on the desktop and you put your name Stan well in my case is Stan Lee and the name of the assignment is how to upload a file on Google Drive all right I click save and then I close off the document okay so we have shared the file um, on Google Drive we have the link we created our little word document now we can just go to the course all right we go to where the assignment is click on the assignment all right we click add submission now depending on whatever settings your teacher use you can either see an online text box and a file submission box you might or in some cases you might just see the file submission box or you might just see the online text box so there are different combinations that are based on what settings your teacher use so in this example we have both of them just in case so you can see how both of them works so like if um, you just see the online text well then you just go to your word document that we just created and you can just copy what's in the word document and you can paste it there all right that's one way to do it now if you just see the file submission box you can again take the file which we the word document we just created that contains um, this information here yeah, the name of your, of your name the course the day the assignment and then of course the most importantly the link to your to your assignment uh, and then so you just drag and drop that word document into the file submission box all right once you finish you click save changes all right so now we get the confirmation here it's submitted for grading uh, you can scroll down you still have to, once it's before the due date then you can always click edit submission and do just that edit your submission you can remove your submission and add a new one if it's before the due date okay so i hope this helps um if you have any questions or concerns about this video then you can contact us at the e-learn help desk uh, there are a few ways in which you can get to us um, you can email us which is the preferred way so you can email us at elearninghelp 101 at gmail.com you can call us at 662-2241 extension 2733 or extension 2731 and you can also physically come and meet us um the idd office is next to the ford library so as you walk into the the um the library's car park there instead of going left which will be the the entrance to the library you go right and there should be some signs on the wall saying iddu um let's go through that glass door there and we are there to help so take care guys god bless bye bye